Hi kids, what are the three parts of obedience? You wanna find out? Okay, let's go. Did you see that? Oh man! Well, I'm gonna use this in a little bit, but first, did you know that there are three parts to obedience? You may think, really? But it's just one word. Why would there be three parts? It sounds really hard too but it's not that hard once you think about it. Kind of think of it as a checklist, the three things that we need to do to be obedient. These three parts work together to make sure we are being obedient to God, to our authorities, and to our parents. Well, let's look at the first one. Obedience is done immediately. So, think about this. If your mom tells you to come in from playing in your yard, and you're like, okay, boy, I'll come in about 10 minutes. So you go, 10 minutes passes, and then you finally come in? Is that okay? Not really. That's not obeying right away. Well, what if you just do five minutes? Is that okay? That wasn't immediately. What about just 30 seconds? That's still making your mom wait. Obedience is done immediately. Can you say that with me? Obedience is done immediately. Good job. Sometimes you're given a task though, and it doesn't have to be done right that second. For example, if your mom and dad tells you, go clean your room, they may not expect you to clean it all right now, but they probably want you to get it done by the end of the day. So, if your room is not clean by bedtime, you definitely haven't obeyed parents. So obedience must be done right away or within the given time. Well, that's the first part of obedience. What's the second part? Second part is, obedience should be done cheerfully. Can you say it with me? Obedience should be done cheerfully. Good job. So cheerfully means with a smile and a good attitude. It means not complaining on the inside or outside. So there may be things that you dislike doing. We all dislike doing something. Maybe you dislike taking out the trash and you think, ew, that's so gross. Or you think, I really do not like my homework. I was doing school all day and now I have to come in and do my homework. But think about God and he wants you to have a good attitude in everything you do. So what are some benefits of having a good attitude? The people around you, they may have a good attitude. You are honoring them. Those are all things that are benefits to having a good attitude in one way that we can be obedient. Well, the third way, you might have seen this blue paper earlier. It says 100%. So when we're obedient, we should do things completely to our utmost abilities. We shouldn't just be like, I'm gonna clean this floor so quickly and I'm gonna do it right now, but if I do it quickly and if I do it right now, I can't really do a good job because I don't have much time. So. Uh, I'm gonna leave crumbs on the floor. I'll, I'll just sweep them under the bed. No. Obedience should be done all, 100%, your very best. So maybe you're vacuuming. Don't just forget the floor that's under the chair. Vacuum under that too. Maybe you're dusting and you wanna dust your dad's desk, but there's stuff all over it. You can just dust under it instead of just dusting around it. So. Those are three ways that you can show obedience to God. You can show obedience by doing things right away. You can show obedience by having a good attitude and you can show obedience by doing your job completely. So in Ephesians 6, 6, we're told to obey, not with eye service as men pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. So just doing the motions and doing a good job doesn't count as obedience. True obedience comes from the heart and doing a good job for God. So what three, which three of these parts do you have the most hard time showing obedience in? Mine's probably this one. So think about the hardest part of obedience that you have and work on it this week. Choose one of those areas and see how you can be obedient, how God wants you to be. Bye guys.